This hold on, hold on a minute. Okay. Steve, what's your last name? Ellison. Ellison. All right. I'm ready, Wesley, when you are. We are here at Savannah River Brewing Company. Steve Ellison is the owner, and he makes uh, no jacket required cold beer, which is the official beer of the Marty Smith podcast until someday Outsider decides to launch beer. Well, we'll pay you until it takes. We're in. Okay, I like money. We're in the we're in the process here. This is explain the to me where this we are. I see brewery. lots of vats. So this was uh, so I you know we came to Augusta. There was no brewery here. We we found a warehouse that was all condemned and everything. It used to be actually <clears throat> it used to be a uh, a warehouse for beer for beverages, alcoholic beverages or whatever beverages. So they, they would just store them here. They would store them here and then they distribute them. The whole wholesale brewery, uh, the wholesale distributors was called. Anyway, it was it was pretty much not very good anymore. So anyway. So we, you uh, bought it. We bought it. You put a bunch of awesome titanium vats in bought here. Bought this stuff and brought this in. It's a it's done titanium. <laughs> You got enough Stanley money for titanium still, no, bass, no, Steve? Don't, don't really have that much money. <laughs> we didn't have enough money for this, but <laughs> we did get it anyway. It's, it looks beautiful. <laughs> it, it is beautiful. It's like it's, a stunning. It's stainless steel. So you got this. This is the brew house, and this is the fermenters here, and they're just all. And this is these are the uh, uh, hot and cold liquor storage. Hot and cold liquor. Liquor sounds like it's something good, but that's just water. So that's hot water, and that's cold water. Okay. Okay. So let's come over here. Yes. And over here, the uh, Steve's uh, the man. Yeah, I'm not the man. <laughs> Steve's the man. Okay. Uh, the this is like all right. We got some grains over here, and uh, hops, so, barley, the like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You take the the uh, grains and the and the hops, and you make the beer. There's a water filter system over there that takes everything out of the water and makes it pure water. And then we add back what we want, like calcium or whatever. Interesting. So, so it, 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 that's how our Pilsner, the Pilsner, so you get, get back to the Pilsner itself. If you go to uh, the Czech Republic, there's an area, Pilsna, over there that uh, actually has water that's very low in, in different minerals. So we have to remove them all so that we can make the Pilsner. Interesting. Be, originated so so uh, I mean make it original like to the, the Pilsner style you guys did a good job of removing we, we, whatever was necessary yeah. <laughs> so then we add back whatever we have to so well, I thought to, that was funny there's hard water which is in, in sure. uh, England which is where the uh, ales are made and then you know it, it's, it's a whole science behind a lot it. of science man so anyway uh, you take the grains you, you grind them up here in our, our mill house and so we take all those bags over there and we put them in however many we need to. It's a recipe. It's basically a recipe like making anything else. And then it grinds it up. Shoots it up, up through the, what, through what, what pulls out, vacuum? Yeah, yeah, the vacuum? Va yeah, it comes on over here. And then we have water added to it, mash tun. And this is the mash tun. And it sits there and grinds and grinds and grinds at a certain temperature. At, the right temperature, which there's different ones for different styles of beers, but basically uh, you, you do that for a while. And then you go over to the lotter ton. The lotter ton separates, so this makes oatmeal basically. Mm -hmm. and to make, put Mash. It, yeah. Make it simple. And then you come over to the lotter ton, and what it does is separate the, the solid from the liquid. And the liquid is where all the sugars are, uh, that, uh, and the different styles of sugar based on the um what beer it is exactly the, or, or grains we put in there and then it comes over to the boil kettle so i mean this takes that's that's an hour or so and this is an hour or so sometimes more than an hour or so and then it comes over to here and we monitor it there's all this see all this equipment here it monitors how long and all this stuff. so you know you get over here and this is the boil kettle and then you get it up to so, you know, usually it's a, this is a 30 barrel one, so, but when you boil it, it's up to more like 35, and then it boils down at, as it, you know, the steam comes off, and it goes up, see the... Yep, I see it in the big tube. Goes, yep. Yeah, it goes out there. So when we're making beer, the whole area smells, smells great. Like, yeah. Smells great. Then that's when we add the hops. 
At certain times during the boil process, you add the hops. And the hops adds the flavor, and that's what people like. And so, and then you come down here. Here's what people like. And you have to cool it down. This is the coolest part of the whole process. You go from, you know, boiling temperatures to 68 degrees, wow. and you put it over there. And so, um, of course, my phone goes off right now. Um, <laughs> Let me just, just uh, uh, turn that off. Sorry about that. Don't be. <laughs> there's perfect. A, there's Couldn't a, be more perfect, man. Uh, and here it comes again. Uh, <laughs> Somebody wants to get a hold Somebody of you. Th that cooling device takes it from boiling down to six, eight degrees, puts it in here where the, the yeast is. So you, we talked about water is in one component, malt's another, hops is another, Grains, yeah. and yeast is yeast. the other. And so the yeast joins it here. Are these all different kinds of beers right here? I'm, I'm different sure. kinds of beers. Yep. It could be the. It could be. Yeah. It could be the same beer, but different kinds of beers. And so uh, and then we do them in a, in a sequence, and it takes different time periods for it to ferment properly. So anywhere from, you know, 30 days to. Uh, okay, so the beer stays in here for 30 days. It can. It can. Depending on the style, or, or as, as short as uh, 14 days. Okay. So, so right now there's one percolating right over here. I think. Uh, watch out for these. So you can see, when beer ferments, so the the, the yeast are in there, taking all the uh, sugars from the beer, yep. Yep. turning it into alcohol, and and and, and carbohydrate. So this is the extra CO2 that comes out. And this person just doesn't they know. They really want, well, let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. It is not Tiger Woods. It is a friend that doesn't know that I'm <laughs> in the middle of doing right an now. interview. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the CO2 is coming out, coming out, coming out. But it comes to a certain level where we see it here. And so there's a number of days that you get to where the, the amount of CO2 fermentation is complete. And then you can turn this off with these valves yep. and you watch the CO2 here. And so, it, and then you are able to get your carbonation of the beer at the alcohol content that you want. That, 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 that's the whole thing about- 5.3. 5.3 for, <laughs> for that particular one. What Steve's drinking is about uh, Steve, what, 8.9.2? Steve, 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 Steve's had one too many of these. <laughs> <laughs> but ain't that, ain't that the but point? I, I, I ain't you, that the point? I, I'm off today, and I didn't know you guys were going to be here. But anyway, uh, it, this one's about yeah. seven or so. So explain. So different styles, and then you come, the, the style of beer, you know what you want me to explain? Yep. Style of beer has to do with the hops you use and the, uh, the um, grains you use, and then the length of time. And then how much, the type of yeast. The type of yeast is huge. So the type of yeast you use, to how they ferment it, to what kind of off flavors, the different, whoops, different flavors you get and everything. <laughs> that, was, that was alcohol abuse right there. That is alcohol abuse. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, uh, then after, actually, after all this is done, then we send it over to the bright tanks. And these are the bright tanks. Right what, tanks, that, what happens in there? They just settle. Everything settles. We stabilize the CO2 content that needs to be for canning, which is what you like. I do love me some you cans. You don't like the bottling. You I like, like the me canning. some cans, that's yeah. right. So back in the older days, which I'm a little older than you, I guess, uh, we used to do bottles. But you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. They, we do the bright tanks. It clears the beer, gets it to the CO2 you want, gets it right where you want it and then you package it, which is either bottling or, or cool. canning. And so our canning process is right over here. So it hooks up and there's this, see those cans over there? I do, yeah. I see lots of them. They're all empty. And there's a whole bunch of the uh, <laughs> no jacket required ones. Yeah, I see them all. And so all uh, these are empty, just waiting on cold beer. Right, depending on the type of beer you have, that's what kind of, so you take this whole, yep, that's do you empty. want one of those? I can give you one over there, but not this one. Uh, <laughs> we take them and put them in that cage. And that cage uh, takes the beer, or takes the cans, and then we have the beer hooked up to the bright tanks, and it comes through. 
and we fill them up at the right level and they come around the thing and we package them. Super cool, man. What is the evolution of going from a passion project, which is where <laughs> this- way, way out of control. Oh, go right. ahead. That's it. I know, ask right, the out of control is exactly what I expected you to say. <laughs> How does it go from passion project to, okay, wait a minute, let's make sure this thing's on shelves at the hotel bar at the local bar, at the grocery store, maybe we get regional distribution, maybe we go from regional distribution to national distribution. What so, is that process? So that's a, that's a hard process because it's Gotta all, be a hard process. It, 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 it has to do with state and national laws. And so we're in the state of Georgia, the state of Georgia has that you can produce a certain amount or you can produce all you want in your factory, which is where we are, but you can't distribute but X amount from your, so, and the rest has to be distributed through the distributors in, in the state. So getting the right distributor to, uh, to distribute your, your product is, is essential. And so if you get a distributor that doesn't distribute it very well, then you're kind of screwed. If you get a distributor that's awesome and getting it everywhere, then, then you're in better shape. So it's and all- And that's an individual thing? What it's, makes a great distributor? Aggression. A, a, a great distributor takes our beer and distributes it <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere they can distribute yeah, it. Understood. That makes a great distributor. Understood. But, the, but you understand what happens to them is we make the beer and then we sell it to them. And then it's their beer. It, I see. And then we're okay. out of the picture. So they have to have a product that they think is great to distribute. I got you. So it, it, there's a two way street here. It's not. I, no fault of a distributor saying, we don't think we can sell this beer because it sucks. But when you have great beer, like we do. <laughs> I appreciate Steve's honesty. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, well, all right. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have put it in those words. But anyway, the, uh, the bottom line is, once they buy the beer from you, it's their it's beer. It's theirs and they got And they have it. to figure well, they have out. Overhead. Right, so yeah. there's, the, there's, the, there's the whole process right there. And then, and then they had to put it in, in markets. So there's markets that only like Bud Light, you know. Right. And then there's markets. I know a lot of those markets. Yeah. So <laughs> we all do. Yeah. And so uh, uh, then there's markets that like craft beer. And so the we're a craft brewer, obviously. So your market is a little different than maybe others. So I'm intrigued by the IPA culture, right? That's what I am. Right. IPA culture. You're you're. You are a rare, not rare, rare, rare. You you appreciate a, a, a really fine made pilsner. I do. Which is 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 not necessarily. You can say normal. Normal's fine. I'm not normal. But <laughs> I love IPAs. I love how they taste. I love the experience Aroma. of drinking them. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I hate the next morning. They hurt me bad, Steve. Okay. So. I, I cut them out. I just said, okay, I'm cutting them out. But right. what is the growth? How do you define the growth of IPA? Let's call it a decade. Let's call it uh, the I last tell you, decade. IPA has exploded. <laughs> yeah, right. right. And, and they vary. You know, there's the hazy IPA, there's yep. the new, there's double the, uh, hops. Right, the double IPA. Yeah, double exactly. IPA. Right. IPA has, the IPA is kind of it for craft beer right now. But it's, it's changing a little bit. There's a sour side. So this is what our brewery, our brewery tries to experience every style of beer. There's, beer is unbelievable. If, if, if people say, I don't like beer, they just haven't found the right beer. Correct. Because there's a, enough beer styles that with somebody, they, they should be able to appreciate it. So as you, thank you for bringing us back here. It's been very educational. As you peer off into the crystal ball, Steve's crystal ball, what do you hope for? So to speak. Well, I hope, <laughs> I hope our beer really takes off. But um, So you want to grow this thing into absolutely, a phenomenon. Absolutely. This, yeah. So you see the size of this place. Some people don't. Yeah. Some people don't want that. You're right. Some people are happy with a, a, a small town, yep. being their only brewery. We... we our vision was, you know, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, maybe Tennessee, down to Florida, you know, 
growing the region area. And so if you look at the, the you know, one of the, and I, I don't want to promote anyone else, but Sweetwater, Sweetwater, oh, they, they, they were just exploded. killed it. Yeah. They killed it. And I, and I, and I was in Atlanta for a long time and that's where I used to go. I used to say, oh, this is the greatest beer ever. And it, and, and it is a good beer. I'm not, you know, I know I'm Savannah River guy, but, um, but they, they make a good product and they are very smart how they did their business. They did it How all. did they do their business? What was smart? They were able to go from Atlanta and, and they made a good beer and then they grew out to the whole state of Georgia, over to Alabama, up to Tennessee, it, and now they're national. Basically. 48 states this year, I think yeah. is the number. Yeah. I think it, they were in 40 and I think this year they add eight more in distribution. How they did it, it, it has to be with the distributor. It had a good product. They have a good product. Great product, I'm yeah. not, I'm not. They make great beer. You know, I'm not, I do, I, I believe that too. And I, and that's, I'd like to mimic that. But, you know, they are Sweetwater and we are Savannah River. But hopefully someday maybe. Nike was just Nike once. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, that's right? right, that's right, you never know. But. Um, I think so. So the, just to show you why we thought we were going to do bigger, because there was nobody here, and so we we bought this size of a warehouse. See those fermenters? There are sixty beer fermenters. You could actually double that fermenter farm, and, um, and sure, if, if you had the distribution and got it out to the people. So we haven't gotten there yet, and I, I hope we do. I do too. Thank you so much for your time and insight and oh, spirit. I love your spirit. I, I love, appreciate it. I love having you guys here. So yeah, I watch it's... you all the time on, <laughs> on SEC, and I'm like, I can't believe this guy's here. Well, it's great to be here, and I appreciate you saying that, and we love us some cold beer. Thank you for Cheers. having us, Steve. Cheers. Cheers. All right. That's right. awesome.